This is Sean McCormick. Something that people have been asking about a bit, and I'm just going to show you here now, is how to actually put settings onto the video from the capture frame. Uh, the big video about it is Julianne Cost's video. Julianne has done some wonderful series of videos explaining uh, Lightroom 4 Beta. Um, but she shows how to do it using by creating a preset, but you can do it another way that people are interested in, so I'm just going to do that really quickly. So I'm going to drag across here because the start of my video is um, not exposed properly. So there we go, that's a little bit more like what the rest of the video looks like. So I'm going to come down here, click Capture Frame, and we'll see the frame appear down here in the film strip and it becomes part of the stack so we're going to click on it and just go to develop because it's now a photograph so we can develop a photograph um, and I'm just literally going to do something really quick I'm just going to pull the saturation the whole way down and whack the contrast up a bit and enter a bit of clarity drag some highlights back to try and pull some of that it's a bit kind of messy looking there now why am I doing this? I'm really going to add some highlights back and see what whites does I don't want to make it too pixelated around the edges there Right, so the reason I, I've done that is I'm trying to show you something extreme that's changed in the video. So now what we need to do is if you hold down the shift key and you press the left arrow it will select the next item to the left which is the video fortunately for us. Right, so that means that we're able to select the video without going away from the actual uh, captured frame, the JPEG. If we click sync now automatically everything is on. The stuff that can be selected is there selected, other stuff you can't select is not selected. So I click synchronize, we look down here we see the video goes black and white. Now it would be tempting to go back to the actual video itself but if we do that we're just going to get a big warning here saying you can't use video and develop. I'm going to do it anyway and you can see that video is not supported and develop. So we go to library and we can see here that the frame looks black and white and I press play it. and we can see that the actual video is black and white. So that's how you use sync um, to get settings to your video in develop.